Bird Jones State Forest. We're going to go check out some of these trails. Come along with us. So we've been here before, just once. Really wanted to go across this bridge. The last time we had Hades, he was too scared. So. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, uh-uh, come on. All right, well, I'm gonna put him on the leash and we'll see what happens. He's a good boy, he's a good boy, is he here? We did it! He made it, so that was exciting. It's like Hexus from Ferngully lives in there. Right now, we are hiking around on the north side. There is definitely more things to look at and more of a interpretive trail the south side is just they've got a couple of lakes there and you can ponds they're not lakes they're ponds you can fish um i really like this one the trail is more almost died I think we might have taken a wrong turn. Yep, for sure, took a wrong turn. I was trying to avoid making him go over the suspension bridge again, but I guess we're gonna have to go across it again. Gnarly weed of death. On the all trails map, it shows that I could go this way. And I haven't hit that trail yet, so I'm not sure. We're gonna turn around because I have a very hairy black dog and I don't want to kill him. And it's starting to get hot, so. We are gonna just backtrack on this bike trail and go back to the parking lot. So we're wrapping up our hike right now, making our way back to the parking lot. Um, this is the section I was talking about earlier where everybody and their mama come take pictures. It really is beautiful um, when it's not filled with a million people taking pictures. So to recap, Jones State Forest is located on 1488, about a mile and a half west of I-45. There are three parking areas, two on the south side of 1488 and one on the north side, with the main office building being on the north side. We parked here and did the Sweet Leaf Nature Trail, as well as hiked around on some forest roads to total us out at 3.3 miles. There are nearly 15 miles of trails for hiking, biking, as well as horseback riding. It is open year-round during daylight hours. 
There is no camping here, and if you're planning on going on the weekend, I highly recommend getting there as early as you can. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And for more on Texas State Parks, hiking, outdoor adventure, and family fun, hit that red subscribe button. Till next time, happy trails.